what is our position now in regards to following a madhab? There are a few things to keep in mind. Number one, a madhab is a set of usul, it's not a set of fatawa. It's a set of principles on how to derive opinions, it's not a set of opinions. That's one of the, the, the greatest misunderstandings of what a madhab is in the first place. There is no such thing as a madhab being a set of opinions. If you're Shafi'i, you will do this, 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 and that. If you're Hanafi, you will do this, 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 and that. That, you know, هذا مفهوم خطأ. That's, that's one of the worst ways to understand a madhab. No scholar has ever understood a madhab to be that way. If that was the case, we'd only have four opinions on every issue. But we find sometimes 20 opinions within the same madhab. Especially the Hanafi madhab, by the way. Because the Hanafi madhab has the most flexibility in it. Sometimes you'll find 20, 30 opinions on one mas'ala within the Hanafi madhab. But for some reason people think, if you're Hanafi, you have to do it this way. Right? A madhab is a set of usul, not a set of opinions. That's number one. Number two, the ruling on following a madhab differs from person to person. It depends on your capability as well, where you are at as well. It's not a one-size-fits-all type of thing. Number three, following a madhab is not an issue of faith. It's not an issue of iman or aqidah. You cannot say, you know, and, and the reason why I say that is you cannot say a person is sinful because of how they approach this topic. It's impossible to say that. To add this as a condition of faith and to make someone out to be athim, to be sinful, whether they do taqlid or they completely do you know, the opposite of taqlid, whether they follow a madhab or not. If, if a Muslim says that, you know what, I'm not going to follow a madhab, you can't make that person sinful. Because it's not a condition of faith that was given by Allah or the Messenger wasallam. This is an issue of how to approach fiqh. It's not an issue of faith. If that was the case, if a person was athim, sinful, on how they approach the subject, then that would mean that the minute that someone takes shahada, you need to assign them a madhab. Like takbir, Allahu Akbar, mashallah, welcome to Islam. Alright, what madhab do you want to be? Because if he dies that night, I'm just approaching it from a pure usuri perspective. If he dies that night, he's sinful if he doesn't have a madhab. If you want to approach it that way and say that a person is sinful, if they choose not to follow a madhab, then you've made that person die athim. You made them die in a sinful state. So it's not an issue of faith, it's an issue of finding the best approach.